This is the highly modified Ford Ranger Wild Track Power Wheels, modified by Thomas Kirkpatrick for his son, Taylor. Thomas has modified various power wheels for his son, but it's the Ford Ranger that really got my attention. Now from the outside and from a distance, it looks like any other power wheels, but it's not until you really take a good look and listen to this modified Ford Ranger that you realize it's something special. Thomas told me he spent over 540 hours modifying this toy car for his son. With everything from a stereo infotainment system with screens in both the front and rear of the car, with both speakers and subwoofers built in, plus a very complex lighting system all around and underneath the car. Not to mention the supercar revving sound effect when you press the accelerator and the fake smoke coming out of the exhaust. Oh, and did I mention it has an air lift system to raise and lower the car? How all this started was, Thomas and his wife love going to car shows and are into tuning cars. And ever since having their child, they started bringing him along to the shows. Now at first, he was wheeled around in a stroller, like any baby or young child. But one day, Thomas brought him a Power Wheels. And from that day onwards, Taylor would ride around following his parents at the car shows in that. Thomas explained how vendors and visitors at the car show started seeing Taylor in his power wheels more and more at various car shows. That he has become kind of a young celebrity. So much so that visitors and organizers would gather around Taylor and take pictures and make videos. Taylor seems to really enjoy that so many people were interested in him. And so he taught himself certain poses that he practiced for when people photographed or filmed him. Taylor and his Ford Ranger Power Wheels is now so well known that organizers of various car shows book him for shows and give him an honorary cup as the youngest tuner. The car is fitted with Alpine stereo equipment because Thomas works for Alpine as a graphic designer, so he is able to measure up the equipment needed before buying it, making sure it will fit in the car. Thomas says the Power Wheel cars were not created for promoting the Alpine company. The cars were only designed for my son and I. It's just easy to use their parts as I work for them and I get a discount. Now for all those who are interested in what was added to the car, I will put that information below in the show more section. But just to sum up the main information, Thomas spent 540 hours modifying this car. The original weight of the car was 17 kilograms, and after the work was completed, it was 65 kilograms. And the total cost of the modifications were $9,400. Now for all those people who spend money modifying their cars, they know they will probably never get that money back when they sell the car second hand. Well, I'm pretty sure Thomas won't get his money back when his son grows out of the car and he tries to sell it. But for some people, it's not about the money. It's about creating a bond and a passion about cars with your son that will last a lifetime. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.